Good morning and welcome to the Spiritual Night Owl. It's the Spiritual Night Owl channel for 2021. Today we are reading for star seeds. And our first star seed that we'll be reading for in the name of Jesus will be the indigo children. We're going to do an alchemist prayer for the indigos. And we're going to clarify them with the star tarot. Our um, original tarot for the five, five, mm, five card alchemist spread will be courtesy of the angel wisdom tarot for the new year. This is our first New Year's Day spread for the star seed of indigo. This is from the indigo children. Okay, indigo children. This is your energy, indigos. Okay, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we come before the throne of grace to tell you thank you, Lord. Thank you for a new year. Father God, we come before the throne of grace because we need the energy for the star seed of indigo. So number one position. And the goat children in the name of Jesus. And the goat children. In the name of Jesus. And the goat children. Number two position. Number three position. Number four position. Number five position. Okay, these are five positions, two of earth, king of pentacle, eight of swords, the dreamer, which is the fool, and then the eight of wands, okay, those are our five energetic positions at this time. This reading is from the Indigo Star Seed. The Indigo Star Seed. In the name of Jesus, we ask for the clarifying energies for the cards on the board. By the God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you for the clarifying energies for the two of earth. 
We ask you for the clarifying energies for the Two of Pentacles. Clarifying energies for the Eight of Wands. Clarifying energies for the Dreamer. And clarifying energies for the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> okay, Let's see what we got here. For the indigo star seeds. The first question for the five card alchemist spread. <clears throat> Asks the question, what is the core essence of the problem at hand going into 2021? And you have the two of earth. Now the two of earth says, working too hard on multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life. Juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. Okay? Now, see if we can do this little lighting, get something done with this lighting here. Okay. Okay. The first energy to an energy, to an earth. And the two of earth teaches us that we need to take more time out. We're juggling too many tasks and we need a break. Now this is clarified with the three of cups. There's the three of cups. Okay, Three of Cups. Three of Cups normally speak about partnerships. Okay, but we're going to read from the book so that we can see what the, the, the um, let's check and see what it says about the Three of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups. When the Three of Cup enters, it brings success, completion, and new beginnings. Success, completion, new beginnings. It signals fertility and birth, indigos. You feel good. It brings joy, happiness, and laughter. If your heart is a bit low, this lighthearted card reminds you that laughter is the best medicine. Appreciate and enjoy your friends, sharing your joys with your loved ones, success, and honoring theirs as well. This uplifting card symbolizes a festive party with food, music, and merriment. It's a wonderful time to be alive. So have some fun. Okay? So it's telling you it's a time of celebration. Stop juggling so much. Take some time off for work, indigos, and go enjoy your family. Okay, it's a call of celebration for the new year. Alright? They toasting it up. They celebrating. New visions, new projects, and they're flourishing. 
Okay? My indigos. The next card out for the indigos is the King of Pentacle. And it says compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. The Midas touch. Okay? So at this time, you got the Midas touch. Alright? Okay? Now, the Ace of Wands is your clarifier. And it says, when the Ace of Wands appears, it's built up energy that will challenge you to find your authentic self. Stretching you to the heights of spiritual and conscious expansion. If you are able to direct this wildfire inside of you, it will burn away any obstacles, fears, or blocks that may hold you back from your potential desires. The wands express independence and freedom. It drives you to get in touch with your dreams and move forward into action. So for our second question it says the effect on the solution is you can have this celebration and stop working if the king of pentacles or the king of earth will direct his energy into his new beginning and his new projects to move any and all obstacles out of his way. So this is your magic wand to get out of the mess you are in. Because it says the energies are working with you. The third energy on this spread is, so we know that the main problem, the, the essence of the problem is the fact that you're working too much, Indigos, and you're not taking time out to celebrate. Okay? The effect it has is that the King of Wands has a lot of built up energy that he needs to put into, into action. To move the obstacles out of the way from his desires. And then we have our third energy which is the illusion of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action and take responsibility for your life now. So you in your head with the eight of swords. You are in your head because of the eight of swords. And it's telling you come out of there. Come out of there. And it's clarified with the Three of Swords. Okay. This is Heartache. And crying, deep wounded pain, and there's a lot of tears. And they coming from the heavens because your heart is broke. You got three knives in your heart. Okay, Indigos, let's see what it says. There's no doubt that the three of swords bring the experience of heartbreak, despair, and grief. Its energy can immobilize one into feeling helpless and seeing life as helpless. It indicates a sad time in life. Painful memories that are being held in the mind and the heart and need to be looked at, accepted, processed, and let go so that one can heal. So it's time for healing. It's time to process that energy and let it go. Next energy out. Now this right here, that was the aspect of the problem that weighs you and prevents you from moving forward into these solutions. So you can't move because you in your head after a heartache. But you got all this passion built up within you to move forward. Okay? You got the passion. Okay? 
You got the passion. So you need to go ahead and take this step out. So that you can celebrate. Stop working so hard. Okay? That's why you in your head. You working so that you can, you know, try to get over your heartache. I understand that. Trying to distract yourself with something else. But you're in your head. Spirit of God says, this is the hidden force at play, which you may be unaware of. And that's the fact that you need to make the decision to take the step. <coughs> See that dreamer? God said, take the step. See that? Two swords. See what two swords say. It says with the two of swords journey, you start to search for your true self and personal power. The heart and intellect are trying to find a peaceful balance. Things felt in the heart don't always match up with the intellect's vision. When the mind and the heart are torn, there, are no, there is no peace. The physical self goes through daily motions of life unsettled with inner conflict grows <clears throat> and there's a great need to still the body and quiet the mind allowing intuitive feelings of the heart to speak its truth over the climate of the righteous mind wisdom of the heart and forward journey the key of the two of swords is learning how to see and judge with the mind while listening to your heart for wisdom. Two of Swords. So the Lord says you need to listen to your heart and take your leap of faith. And they go children. God says step into it. Don't let this three party, this heartache, this heartache prevent you from the blessings of God, honey. Don't let it stop you. Take your step. Okay, indigos. Okay, indigo children. Now, this is the aspect that you are unaware of. While you're feeling this energy here, While you are in your head trying to juggle in your king a pinnacle, God wants you to take a leap of faith. See that? Right there. He's telling you, you got too much going on. It's causing stress. Because you got a lot of positive opportunities in front of you now. <clears throat> you have unexpected events, rapid changes, the ability to multitask, and the chance to travel for business. Now this is clarified with the Ace of Swords. See what the Ace of Swords say. Okay, the astrological elements for the, the, the sword energy is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sword energy. This lunar cycle is the new moon. And this season is the winter. 
key phase for this is the gift of mental clarity. God is giving you the gift of mental clarity. The Ace of Swords brings the birth of potentials, foresight, or child. It represents new inspiration, imagination, perspectives, and embracing or embarking on new adventures of an intellectual exploration. If you are feeling stuck in doubt or blocked with a problematic situation, the Ace of Swords cuts through the mental fears and brings success and victory through life's challenges, expanding your wisdom. So go ahead and communicate. You want to come forth with passionate communication. That's your outcome. Okay? And that is it, <clears throat> my indigos, for the five energies and clarifiers for the alchemist spread. First one out the gate for 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed this read. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. You want to dig deeper into it, we can do that. We got all kinds of cards we can use to clarify more energies. But this is the basic energy for the indigo. Okay, so you all be blessed. You know the blood of Jesus covers a multitude of sins. And you all go out there and get them for 2021, okay? Cut through, your, cut through it with the truth of righteousness. You got it. You got a little heartache, but you got the truth. So go on and move forward, okay? Be blessed, my beloved, until it's time for you to come back and visit me. At the Spiritual Night Owl Lounge. Okay? Love to have you. Love you, love you, love you. Love to have you. Okay? Till it's time for the next one. Be at peace.